Forever Evil number one begins with Lex Luthor once again free. On his way back to Metropolis to reclaim his Lex Corp empire, Luthor is back to his old tricks. He openly threatens Thomas Cord as he attempts to ruthlessly take over Cord Industries. Suddenly, a massive EMP hits Metropolis and all power goes out, causing Lex's helicopter to plummet into a building. He survives the crash and is surprised to see a text message on his phone saying, This world is ours. In Gotham City, Nightwing makes his way to Arkham Asylum to drop off an inmate. He is brutally attacked by two figures and beaten almost to death. Back in Metropolis, Ultraman of the Crime Syndicate breaks into safety deposit boxes looking for kryptonite. After he finds some, he dissolves and inhales it, which apparently makes him stronger. The scene then shifts to the Crime Syndicate as a whole, giving a pitch to the villains of the world. They have broken open jails like Blackgate, Arkham Asylum, Bell Reeve, and Iron Heights, setting the criminals free. The Crime Syndicate declares that the Justice League is dead. They would like these newly freed villains to join their secret society and become their army. Many of the villains obviously have a mixed reaction to this declaration. However, the Syndicate demonstrates their power by showing off the items they took from our heroes. Aquaman's Scepter, Wonder Woman's Lasso of Truth, and Superman's Cape. They also bring out Nightwing. In a live feed scene around the world, they publicly unmask him and he's revealed as Dick Grayson. As the issue ends, Ultraman moves the moon to make a permanent solar eclipse. The sun apparently makes him weaker, so he needs to black it out. As Lex Luthor watches all of this happen, he says, this is a job for Superman. But as the world falls into darkness, he can only ask, where the hell is he? I absolutely love it when Lex Luthor and Superman work together. And well, I don't know necessarily that they're going to work together. Well, I think he's going to be going along with helping Superman. I don't know if they're going to work together, but... He's I mean, definitely going to be doing something heroic. I thought the issue actually did a good job of portraying Lex Luthor as a true villain, not an uh, anti-hero or somebody who's momentarily turning good, but as an actual villain, making this forever evil month real. Because he basically screwed Thomas Cord out of his company, Cord Industries. He does screw him out of his business, but I think his actions are going to be heroic in that he's going to be getting out the crime syndicate even they are for maybe villainous reasons because he wants the power and in that way he's going to be like a hero fighting against these greater evil you know it's like the lesser evil kind of moving on to some of the other characters uh the crime syndicate obviously is expanding their secret society bringing in other super villains which some of them i think may, may end up being more of anti-heroes the rogues for example. Yeah, they have like strict codes about not leaving people behind, so they seem to have rules, whereas the crime syndicate is willing to do anything to subjugate this planet. I also really like the line they had about the Joker, where they're saying that he's around here somewhere, and we know he doesn't like structure, so I can't wait for Joker to pop up. If you actually read some of the point one issues this week, Two-Face was actually sort of becoming an anti-hero, I guess, uh, cleaning up the streets of Gotham when Batman wasn't there. And Gorilla Grodd, he took over the gem cities. So there's going to be a lot of variation between what villains do. I'm actually just glad that these point one issues have some connection to the Forever Evil storyline. I was worried that it was just going to be completely one-off stories that were completely, you know, money grabbers. Not all of them directly have anything to do with uh, Forever Evil, but some of them do. And I guess it's sort of a cool idea. The other big thing in this issue, though, was Nightwing. Superwoman just choked him, and they don't actually kill him. Instead, they out his private identity. I was kind of surprised by that. I thought there was going to be a public execution in front of all these villains. Yeah, that would really amp up the, the secret society, I think. You know, like, oh, we just killed Batman's number one Robin. You know? Yeah, we finally did something of impact to a, a hero. But I guess this is also impactful. I'm curious... How this is going to impact the Bat family after this event? That's a good question. Um, but do you think Nightwing will die? I mean, there's been rumors that he might, but as of right now, what's your opinion? I think now that he's been outed, I think it'll be better if he stayed alive because that will lead to better storylines than another dead Robin because we just had Damien die. And it's just going to be the, a similar situation again. And I think his identity being out there is a newer, cooler storyline. I think it's going to be kind of similar to Peter Parker after Marvel Civil War when in the middle Tony Stark convinces him to publicly reveal his identity. You know, that whole thing blows up in his face so and you think gets shot in the face. So you think this is just going to be a terrible idea because they have to completely retcon that eventually. Yeah, yeah. 
As a grade, though, for Forever Evil number one, what would you give it? I'm going to give this a 4.5. I wasn't completely satisfied with how Trinity War ended, but I really like how this began. I want to see Lex Luthor lead the Resistance, and I really want to see Joker create havoc. I'm going to give this issue a 4 out of 5. It was definitely an interesting start, but I think I would have preferred to see the series pick up immediately after the final issue of Trinity War. Thanks for watching B3 Comics Review Forever Evil Part 1. Before we go, we have a question for you. With DC's Villain Month, there are 52 one-shots featuring villains. Which one are you looking forward to the most? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up.